Hi, Gene here. Welcome to today's thought. And with today's thought, you're going to get a little bonus, a reply to a commenter, which is actually a reply to myself because there is a statement that the commenter, this particular commenter made, which is, has been proven wrong, but I had the same opinion. This is an anti-Trump commenter, by the way, but we were both in agreement on this one uh, issue and we were both proven wrong but I'm not gonna take time with it now I'll get right to today's thought not make you wait to, you know sit through my uh, reply I'll put it at the end if you can stick around that's great if you can't then you know it's okay so anyways um, as you know, as we all must know, there has been a second attempt in, on Donald Trump's life. Now, you just think back how rare uh, attempted assa assassinations and attempted assassinations are. Now, the, if, you have to, if you're talking about a presidential candidate, you have to go all the way back to uh, RFK Jr.'s father, uh, Robert F. Kennedy. That, that's the last time, and the last time... Uh, well, Reagan, Ronald Reagan, and so you're going all the way back, and now you have Donald Trump, two attempts within about 60 days on his life, which is really unprecedented, but which is uh, what is also unprecedented is some of the comments, which have really been disgusting. There's a uh, one commenter, um, not about this particular earlier particular issue, but he said, however much you hate the media, you don't hate them enough. And this is a, this is going to be proof uh, that, well, Lester Holt on NBC, and he's just one among many, has said that, well, blame the, they blaming the, they are, they blame the assassination attempts on Donald Trump, that Donald Trump is too provocative and he's, uh, he's evil and so, he brought it on himself, kind of like, well, not kind of, exactly like the woman who, uh, the rape victim, the rape victim, and they, and some uh, just disgusting people will say, well, her dress was too short, she was dressing too provocatively, she had it coming, and that's what they're, these people are basically saying, that Donald Trump had it coming, even though I don't recall, well, it doesn't matter what I was going to say. I don't recall Trump ever calling uh, or even joking about killing, uh, well, any Democrat or anybody, anybody, uh, you know, except for Osama um, Yahya Sinwar, somebody like that, or Soleimani, who we actually did kill. But the, but presidential uh, candidates, no, he, he hasn't said anything like that or any any Democrat, but you have a number of people on the left who have openly uh, either what all outright called for killing Donald Trump and never Trumpers too have uh, there's one in particular I can think of and but joking about killing Trump and that's what I'm going to show you right now somebody joking about killing not just Donald Trump but Donald Trump Mike Pence uh, uh, vice president under Trump and Jeff Sessions he was the first attorney general under Donald Trump so three people joking about killing three people and who I'm going to show you the video who is this person who's joking who joked about uh, killing these three people yep Kamala Harris Kamala Harris on tape joking about killing uh, Donald Trump uh, Mike Pence Jeff Sessions I'm going to show it to you right now if you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> <laughs> you saw the video. There it is. Kamala Harris joking about killing Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and Jeff Sessions. Three Republicans, and you, there it is. I can't dispute it. Uh, the only comment I have to add to it is, did you notice how the audience laughed along? Laughed along with Kamala Harris as she joked about killing Donald Trump, uh, Mike Pence, 
Jeff's sessions. And that's my thought for today. Now I just, uh, as I said, I had something to correct. Uh, something where I was wrong on a commenter was wrong. It's not worth devoting a whole um, thought to it. That's why I'm doing it now. Which is simply that the this commenter, he criticized, well, he's anti-Trump, and but he criticized the uh, Trump tariffs, saying that they blaming it for uh, for inflation, for causing inflation. Now, I was of the same opinion. I agreed with him. The with the general concept that tariffs are inflation, uh, inflationary, that they cause inflation, and but I said that I actually, you know, full disclosure, I do support tariffs when they're used as a, a weapon to get fairness. For instance, Donald Trump saying, "I will match your tariffs uh, for Mr. A foreign country. Uh, you lower your tariffs, I'll lower mine. You raise your tariffs, I'm going to match them." So that I think is fair. Uh, I support using it as a weapon, uh, uh, Mr. China. Stop. Uh, stop stealing our intellectual property and if you don't stop then and, and stop threatening can, uh, Taiwan I could think of uh, uh, several other things and if you don't do that we're going to put a 100% tariff on all your products that come into this country that I can see I can see the European Union where they are they're fining uh, imposing fines uh, on Google I believe and, and Elon Musk or they want to because he refuses to censor, uh, they approve uh, Google and, and Elon Musk, perhaps others don't. They refuse to censor uh, content on their platforms because they believe we're Americans and they're Americans and believe in free speech. So I can, and a lot of it is just that the, these are American companies that are very successful. The Europeans, uh, there's no European company that can compete with them. And well, it, it's a way of just getting, getting money out of these, these American companies, I think. So I, I'm, I'm on board with Trump if he wants to say, well, Stop going after American companies. Eliminate those fines. Stop call, calling on us to censor, uh, to um, to uh, to abrogate uh, um, the right of people to freely exchange ideas, so on and so forth. Uh, stop it. Stop it, or 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 a hundred percent tariff or whatever on all of your products and services coming into the United States. I'm fine with that too, but. My position was always that it, it would cause inflation, it would raise the price of all these products, and but it's worth it in this case because there are other issues that are more important. And that was my position. But, um, oh, and, and it's a little aside here because this, this commenter, obviously a, a, a liberal or a Democrat, obviously anti-Trump, doesn't see in criticizing the tariffs and, and causing inflation. Well... He, I wonder if this person knows that Biden has not reduced any of these tariffs. He's kept all the tariffs and he actually just raised a tariff on China on, I believe, intellectual, uh, not intellectual, technological, you know, chips, like computer chips and things like that. So if the, then he has, he has to admit to this commenter that Biden is, uh, he's responsible for inflation, for inflation too. But Trump, I believe it was in the debate, but he's said this in other uh, venues, which is a fact that I, yes, I raised tariffs and when I left office, inflation was 1.4%. That is a fact. 1.4%, which is well below the 2% target of the Fed. And the, um, I believe it was 1.9%. Slightly under two percent for his entire administration. So that's the point: is that Trump raised tariffs, but where was the inflation? There was no inflation from raising tariffs, and so this commenter is wrong. But I'm wrong too because I said exactly the same thing: that would be inflation. Now, why that would be, I can't say. Um, there's no inflation, but somebody, uh, an, ec an economist or somebody, you know, talking economic talking head um, said that he, he speculated, and it makes sense to me, that the, the Chinese companies, um, to, to name one country, they're lowering their prices. The producers are lowering their prices to keep them competitive. So they are, as Trump said, now he said that, he said, we co we'll collect billions of dollars, he said, um, but he 
I don't know if that is. I, I still believe that it's we, the Americans, are paying the tariff, but we're not paying any more for the products because the, the products are being lowered. In other words, if you got rid of the tariffs, then the price of the products would go up and, and you would. So the net, the net effect is nothing. That, that's obviously what's happening. We can see it with our own eyes. And so that's which and fairness to Biden. He raised a tariff, so we'll see what happens if that contributes to inflation. But it's not. And inflation is caused by printing money. I don't want to get off on a whole other um, tangent here. But fair is fair. And the Trump raised tariffs and there was no inflation. And, and that's it. That's just a plain fact. I was wrong. And, and so was this commenter. But you cannot go wrong by uh, subscribing to this, uh, to my channel. And your comments is always welcome below the, the, the video in the comment section. If uh, I said if you could subscribe, that would be great. It's worth saying again, um, share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, Bye.